So how would you go about making connections? Well, first thing I would do is figure out what type of connection you want, right? So if you are uh, your rapper, your goal is to, I guess, get signed to a label. Well, any position that you are, rapper, producer, whatever it is, if you're trying to reach somebody inside of a corporation, get yourself a LinkedIn profile. That is where the business people are, the people who make the decisions. If you want to meet the director of Sony, if you want to meet the director of Arista, if you want to meet the director of any of these top labels, you're going to find them on LinkedIn. And what you do is you don't spam them or anything like that. You interact with their posts. You make a few comments here and there. You don't send no DMs. You don't slide no DMs or anything like that. You just make a few comments, like a few posts. You do that for a while, get yourself known to that person, and then you find a way and send them a nice DM. But before you send that DM, you want to build some information on this person you you actually looking for or, or you're actually building a connection with. So go to that Facebook page and see the things that they like. And when you prepare that email, make sure you personalize that email directly to that person. Shoot that email and see what happens. But don't go out there and being weird and shit. So mm -hmm. trying to reach and build connections, just, you know, don't be weird and just reach out and be authentic about what you're doing. Don't be salesy. To, to piggyback off that idea too, like as far as being out there and, and, and willing to interact, that coexists within like different venues and, and things like that. Like for an example, showcases is is a way I used to utilize, or I still to this day utilize um networking. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when you're in a space of people within the same craft, you are supposed to intermingle within those people that coexist within everything that you you on. So that being said, um that's a form of, of networking of building. Yeah, that's connection. definitely how that's definitely a uh, easier way you to how to me? find people that's really aligned with you. That's that's touch points. Go go put face yourself to face out there and yeah. whatnot. You know what I mean? And it's and it's and it's exposure because you never know who you run into because you'll pop out to, to an event somewhere that you wouldn't normally put yourself out there and you'll probably receive more love than where you thought you would get more love at. And it's like that's a fact. Yeah, a lot of times you just gotta throw yourself in places that you Feel is fitting for your surrounding crowd. Getting out your comfort zone, more or less. That part, well, you feel me? Said I had to learn that shit, <laughs> and I applaud it. You feel me? I think so. What's the difference between supporting someone and being fans out? Mm, that shit, shit sounds crazy. It's doing what it's nah, doing. but nah, but like, yo, on on, on some real shit. Mm -hmm. If we just exclude like fan out and whatnot, being supportive is actually being fan out. You know right. what I mean, like, if because I would want you know my man's in them. To, to actually happy. to be mad happy for me so that way mm -hmm. if they part of that team and they making the phone calls or doing the phone calls that excitement goes through you yes, know what i mean so. so i really would want my my people to be fanned out and i mean not mm -hmm. weird but you know what i mean on some we all ready to win because if i eat we all eat that part and i feel like a lot of people miss the school like the the support aspect combined yeah, niggas being fed out with that because they, they be scared to show support. Word. Because they don't want to be categorized as a nigga that's fed out. And they take that body. word, they take that word, they they, so they place it with, with these weird ass mm -hmm. feelings and emotions and associate it with that it's feeling funny. and be like, nah, bro, I ain't doing that. And it's crazy. You know because I mean, ain't even like that. At the end of it, too, it's like when it become popular to support somebody, that's when everybody jump on the bandwagon to support. And all that being said, I want to spread the message of saying like, yo, my nigga, it's good. It's all right. It's valid to support your people that you see is on a on a good path. You feel me? Like Taurus said, you feel me? Like nigga, one door open, we all go eat. You feel me? So yeah, support your peers, support everybody that you see on good timing. You feel me? A lot of niggas don't be on good timing and they quick to support that. Right. They be mad when they fall short. Nah, nigga, support the ones you see doing it for real. I say that how this should be gen genuine, genuine support.